Hello, YouTubers. Well, in my previous video, I said that molting is the number one killer for hermit crabs since most people are misinformed. Okay, so if they need humidity, what's up with the um, moisture? Why does moisture kill crabs? That I don't know, but humidity is the most important thing. Not shell water, straight up humidity is the most important thing during your crab's difficult time of molting. You want to aim for about 80 to 85 percent humidity during this time. And the substrate should be about the same moisture as your potting soil, say when you first open the bag. That is how your potting soil should be. You know, if you have equal earth, that's how it should be. If you have um, sand, which I highly discourage, since it lacks moisture. If you have equal earth, that's how it should be. As moist as a new, a new bag of potting soil. The rest is all humidity. Okay. Now, um, uh, after you get your humidity done, say after your crab comes up, you need to focus on calcium, protein, and carbohydrates, and chitin. Okay. Um, calcium, carbohydrates, and chitin are the top three. Your crab will have used most of its energy during the stressful time of molting. It's like try taking off a sweater and all you can do is pulse. Pulse all your muscles until that sweater comes off. Yeah, you would have used all your energy too. That is what a hermit crab does during molting. It flexes all its muscles for a period of hours until the old exoskeleton is off. So yeah, it would have, you would have used all your energy too. So protein is, as you know, used to build muscle. Calcium and chitin is used to build the exoskeleton, to strengthen the exoskeleton. Okay, so uh, from what I understand, don't quote me on a chitin, do not quote me, but from what I understand, uh, chitin is, uh, you can get chitin from uh, corn. You can also get carbohydrates from corn. Okay, um, you can feed your crab rice. You can feed your crab oatmeal. Stuff that has starches, you know, that's what carbohydrates are. Pretty much starches. Okay, protein. You can feed your crab nuts. You can feed your crab, oh, they will love you for this. Fish. And meaty seafood. Okay. I would prefer you to have it cooked. Okay, I would prefer you to have it cooked, just to make sure there's no harmful bacteria. Okay, and then the calcium, uh, feed it cuddle bone. Or what you can do is boil some eggshells and grind it up inside a, um, or sprinkle it over your um, food. But I prefer you to... Uh, Oh, sorry. I would prefer you to actually uh, mix it in with the food, you know. Um, I highly discourage you feeding so-called hermit crab food because many crabbers say that it, um, it uh, holds preservatives which can kill the crab. But that's really all you can do is focus on humidity, temperature, and after the um, crab comes up, focus on those three things. And that is how I had my first successful molt. Thank you, YouTubers, and hope this helps. Another episode of Skylar the Hermit Talk. Bye, YouTubers.